Welcome back in Health Watch. With highly contagious viruses like Zika and Ebola still a global threat, there's a push for first responders everywhere to be prepared to effectively handle the possibility. Mm -hmm. And today, law enforcement, REMSA, and hospitals right here in Northern Nevada receive special equipment for health related emergencies. Andy Guevara reports. Zip it up, you guys, when you're done. Oh, we need one more. This is an isolation pod. Okay, is it all clear? It is used to completely contain a patient who may be infected with something extremely contagious. It may not be something like Ebola. It could be a chemical accident at one of the manufacturing facilities where we have people coming in from scene with chemical contaminants on them still, and we would not want that spread around the hospital. We actually had EMS people help us design some of the features in the pods. The width of the glove port holes, the sleeve on the underside that allows you to slide in an EMS backboard to carry the people. The isopods cost about $5,000 each. Using a $115,000 grant from the CDC and Department of Health and Human Services, today isopods were distributed to all our local first responders. All local agencies practice for health emergencies, and in the past year, REMSA has responded to two Ebola scares. And later ruled out and determined that that was not the case, but that level of safety and protection is so needed. Lean forward. It's important that we be prepared and have somewhat of a stockpile of equipment because what we found during the, the West African outbreak was it was very difficult to secure personal protective equipment. It was all being shipped over to Africa. The new isopods are made by Airboss Defense. The company provides specialized protection for hospitals across the world and to the Department of Defense. All things seabird, chemical, biological radiation, nuclear decontamination, or personal protection equipment. Uh, we provide a large extent of the, this equipment for DOD. All local law enforcement, North Tahoe Fire, Renown, St. Mary's, and REMSA have received the new isolation pods. Covering Health Watch, Andy Guevara, Channel 2 News.